What's going on guys, we're more here to bring out a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the recording studio that I have built here at home. And for anybody that wants to uh, build their own studio or just interested in how I make my music going forward and how I make my videos, the reason I'm not using a mic right now is because you're about to see what the mic, where the mic usually is. So you actually just, you're hearing just the audio through the camera. And this is something I've been working on for past couple months weeks and um, all together um, this the money that I'm going to be talking about is not to brag it is to give other people wanting to make uh, their own studio an idea of this equipment um, and what it costs so about together if you add up everything this studio everything I use costs about four thousand dollars and I'm going to further this I'm going to take you along and break down every piece of equipment that I use real quick, it's not going to be a long video, and show you just how I make my YouTube videos and how I make my music. So sit back and enjoy me explaining my recording studio, my whole, my passion project. Alright. So what you are seeing right here is the E-Mart green screen. Very tall, fits about the, the height of the room, which is about 9 feet I would say. And it is collapsible, see that handle up there? It'll collapse it all the way down into this very easy little transportable thing down here, which I will actually be taking to college with me. This thing costs about 150 bucks. Now this part right here, I'm filming with my phone. I'm showing you the camera that I use. This is the camera called the Canon G7X. This is a pretty much the essential camera that every YouTuber uses. And uh, it runs at about 600 bucks, I would say. Between 600 and 700 bucks. It's a very good camera. It shoots in 4K, takes great pictures, takes great videos, and I've been super happy with um, all the quality videos I have made with it. And the cool thing is, is that it has this camera that flips up. The, well, that's a camera, but the frame that flips up, you can actually see what you are recording. And you can see how the lighting is and how you look in the frame. It's a really easy, really easy to take. Um, with you on trips to vlog that's why it's so popular among youtubers and this also will be making a trip with me to liberty to make higher quality videos than the ones i was making with my ipad so guys you're probably wondering where do i record my music so when i moved into this room about four years ago we had to build a closet for there was no one in here and it was a walk-in closet, very roomy. So for the past three years, I've been recording music in there using a USB microphone, my MacBook, and a stool that had the Mac and the USB microphone on it. But now, I still use the closet, but I think we've taken quite an upgrade, and it looks much different than it has been for the past three years. All right, guys, so you are seeing what I see when I am sitting here at the dresser, which is my studio desk. And this is what I, this is my recording studio. This is where I sit for hours and just record and listen to some of my new music that's on the way. And yeah, so I'm going to set the camera down and I'm going to do a breakdown about everything you are seeing right here in this room. What's up guys? So right now what you are seeing is me at my chair in the studio. So let's just do a breakdown of everything that's in here. So if you're starting your music uh, producing career, you can uh, have an idea of what to get. So you see the audio phone. This is a 48 pack, uh, I think about 12 by 12s, I think. And they go for about 50 bucks. Well worth it, keeps the sound in, makes the sound very clear. That's the one downside about going back to Liberty and recording, is I'm not gonna be able to have all this phone to go on the walls. But the rooms are pretty uh, good with the audio anyway. So right here are my headphones. These are the NDH, Newman NDH 20s. These are called the highest, uh, the best high-end headphones on the market. These are not like Beats and Bose and Sony headphones. Those are for luxury listening. These are for pure music monitoring. These are studio headphones tailored to the studio mastering and mixing experience so these run at about five hundred dollars it's expensive but trust me it is well worth it because these monitors right here and yes you're probably thinking wait those are speakers 
There's studio monitors, speakers, you can call them whatever you want. But um, these are super cool because you see how big these patches are? They, for working with music, you really are spending hours and hours of time possibly working on music. So these things fit over the ear and don't press on the ear so they make it super easy to wear for long periods of time. They're bulky, but trust me, they're well worth it. Now, I'll set these right here. Here's the microphone that I use. This is called the Shure SM7B. Fun fact, it's the same type of microphone Michael Jackson used to record his album Thriller. Just a little fun fact you probably didn't know. Uh, this thing goes for $400, but trust me, like I said about the headphones being $500, it's well worth it. The audio, if you have seen the Washington Station and some of my music coming up, you'll know how good quality this camera real I mean this microphone really is. It's great for podcasts, it's great for radio, and it's great for music. It can serve many purposes, and trust me, you will be super satisfied. It is a dynamic mic and not a condenser mic, depending on what you're looking for. But it does a great job um, making the music and the podcast sound super clear, blocking out a lot of extra noise, and really makes all my stuff sound really good. Now, right here is the preamp. This is what uh, sends the music to my headphones and my monitors and delivers the sound from my mic into the computer. This thing goes at, uh, I think I got it for like 150 I think. It also comes with a few beginner um, music editing programs. I downloaded them. I kind of stuck with GarageBand. That's what I've been using for three years. So we kind of had that marriage together. But it is a very, but some of the um, softwares that it uh, gives you opportunity to have are very good depending on what you're looking for. But this thing is super good. I can adjust audio, audio levels since the music very clearly to the monitors since the mic audio is straight to the computer very well you cannot make music with this equipment without having a preamp like the Focusrite Scarlett 4i4 or you can do the 2i2 they're both they're both very good um a lot of people you'll see when they have this especially this microphone they'll have this thing called the cloud lifter what that does is requires you to use a less amount of gain on their uh, microphone and it kind of up just because it ups the volume and I personally do not have a cloud lifter if you want to get one then I suggest you do get it but um, I haven't gotten it yet and don't plan to in the immediate future but never say never now less for the equipment I have these two beautiful studio monitors these go at about 319 a piece together I got them for about uh, 650 and they're trust me they're well worth it these two monitors sound great absolutely clear cut audio I've never heard any music sound so clear as it has through these speakers I just sit here and I've been listening to a bunch of music new music old music just really enjoying the sound of what these speakers sound like because it is so clear I will say the first time you sit in here and listen to it it's a little disorienting because all the frequencies and stuff, it kind of disorients you when you leave the room. It kind of like you have to take a few moments to be like, whoa. Because it just, it, it kind of hits you, all the sound frequencies. So, of course, you can't hear what they actually sound like. But I did not want to make this video without giving you a little taste of what it sounds like. So, you're actually going to hear the uh, hook and chorus from my new song, Nameless, coming out in the next couple months. I hope you guys enjoy. Your tracks, I know we have history. It's okay, I know you'll miss me. You would have thought about me unless you cared. Now you want to act like I was never there. So you're trying to take my name out of everywhere. But I love you.
that's a little taste. I don't want to show you the whole song. I'm going to show you a little bit because I'm really proud of that. And I'll just play a random, uh, another song on here just to give you a little taste of what it sounds like. Let me play a song you probably have never heard because it's not released anywhere. <laughs> That's just a little taste of the music, what the music sounds like in here. So I hope you really enjoyed the sound. Oh, it sounds so good just listening to it. Of course, you can't hear exactly what it sounds like in here, but if you get this equipment, you can hear for yourself, and trust me, it is well worth the penny. And you're probably wondering, you said 4,000, that's like 3,000. This little honker right here, this little laptop, funny story, the laptop I had been using when I went to college, it worked perfectly fine until the first day of classes and it died on me. So I had to get this computer, which is the extra thousand. Like, does the computer really count? I would say it does, especially because this computer comes with the software that I record and edit my music with, which is GarageBand. It's basic, but it um, has many great tools for music recording. And if you're, um, and if you're like me, where you know how to get by with it, but not like super and you're not super knowledgeable about mixing and mastering music, this is the software for you. And uh, yeah, it's worked great for me and it's worked even better with all this equipment. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, going over all this equipment in the room. If, uh, if you're uh, somebody who wants to have their own studio, I hope this video really helps you out. If you're somebody that just likes my music and wants to see it, this is what's gonna be creating the great music coming forward. Cause trust me, it's some good music coming forward. And um, that's not just me saying, it's other people that have listened to the music. And so I'm super excited. I hope you have a great day. I'm Remorse and I'm out. Peace.